Hey, hey, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because we got some pretty awesome content in this video. And man, we got some cool stuff to come. So hit that subscribe button and let's go. Okay, welcome back. This is Rad BMX Builds. I'm Sean, the owner, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Lately, we've been doing a lot of build videos, and I think it's time to show you the collection. People are now asking me quite a lot, what bikes do you have? What's available? How much? And these are fair questions, but I'm getting them so often, I thought I'd address them here. So stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna show you the entire current collection at Rad BMX Builds. Okay, people are asking me, hey, Sean, what's available? What's available? Can I buy this for sale? How much? Man, it's crazy. That's literally all the comments in the Instagram account. So I hope if any of you are watching this, I'm going to answer those questions for you today. And then we're going to show you what it is that you can potentially buy. The first question, what's available right now? Absolutely nothing. However, don't leave yet. That's going to change. I'm going to be listing a lot of these bikes on the website very soon. So the website is, right, take note of this, radbmxbuilds.com. It's not hard. You'll find it. And if you're there and there's nothing you like, I also have merch that you can buy. I have stickers. I have parts. I have bikes. I have all kinds of stuff on there. Links to other things. Rad BMX Builds and Flight Collab pad sets which are really rad. And there's a discount down below too. Use that link if you want some bike pads. Come in white or they come in black. Okay, now I told you nothing's currently for sale on the website in regards to bicycles. That means I don't know how much they are. I haven't posted them for sale, so there's no price. Boom, two questions out of the way. Let's get down to the real nitty and gritty. Sean, what do you got? Currently in the collection, uh, probably about 20, 25 bikes, okay? And this is an ever-changing collection, meaning bikes come in, and when I get tired of some, bikes go out. This is not a bike shop. I'm a content creator and a collector. However, bikes gotta go, some more can come in, and that's when I list them for sale. And whatever prices I put on the website, that includes shipping. However, I only sell to the lower 48 US states. Man, people get upset about that. Why, why, why? If you've ever shipped a bike outside the United States, you know why, I'm never doing it again. So lower 48 only for all you other folks that live in Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, overseas in Europe, in wherever, I'm sorry. You just can't have to get your bikes another way. If you have someone in the US though, I can ship to them and then they can ship to you. Okay, I know you're here for the bikes and not for me. So thanks for sticking around. Let's show you some bikes. First thing we're gonna do is an overall, and then we're gonna pull them out one by one and give you a quick look at every single bike so you can see what the bike looks like by itself with its parts and components. Enjoy. Okay, since the Skyways are already pretty much out on their own, let's start with those. First up, the 60th anniversary Skyway TA. Only 300 made, only 150 in the US, 150 went overseas. The bike came in a box, basically a display box with frame fork bars, and then they sent separately the bike stand. Uh, I went ahead and I built the bike. It's in the name. so. I built it the way I wanted to build it. I hope you like it. Let's check it out. The Gold Skyway TA. Okay, as you can see, mushroom grips, MX brakes, die comps. 
There's some black wheels on it. I'm not gonna go part by part. There's a YouTube video about this bike all by itself. Cashamax seat, gold chrome chain, three piece old school cranks. Got some nice touches, the Skyway TA brake end cap and valve stem cap by my good buddy Wes, Mr. Dice Guy. So there's the gold Skyway and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love that bike. Next up, another Skyway. Okay, the red Skyway TA, that's a translucent red over chrome powder coat. Planet BMX did a very limited run of these. I should try to find out the number they did, but it wasn't many. I know when I bought this, they did two in red and two in blue. So I don't know how many actually exist out there in the wild, but I have one of them. And I decided to go all red on this bike. And when I mean all red, like literally everything red and then black accents. I even opted in for the red line cranks that are powder coated to match. And then we did everything else to match as well. This bike came out so good. You know, I've gotten comments like too much red. I really don't care. This is the way I wanted to build it. And I'm not building it to make everybody happy. I'm building it the way I want to build it. And that's what makes me happy. That's why we do it. So let's check out another one. The next one is the white one. I didn't know people liked this so much. I almost didn't even get it. This was a frame and fork set that went up for sale at Planet BMX. Right about the time I was buying the red and blue one, so I jumped right on it and decided to be patriotic and have a red, white, and blue. And here we go, this is the white one. Now this is a little different. This has a one inch threaded headset, an American bottom bracket, and I've added some three piece cranks. And then it's got side pull brakes. So the MX-1000 die comps are on there. White Tough 2s and white everything. And that was kind of the look for that bike. I just wanted an all white Skyway. Cause I mean, that's pretty iconic. So it came out pretty well. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Okay, this is the last of my Skyways. This is the blue one. And yes, all four of these are gonna be for sale. And I only sell on the website at radbmxbuilds.com. We have some Amy Unitrons. MX brakes, Odyssey cables, and this is translucent blue over chrome. I decided to use chrome as an accent color on this. We did some beautiful polished wheels, black tires. We added chrome Skyway pads. And then I also went with the blue Redline cranks on this. Really nice MKS pedals. And a new old stock SR Sakai 44 tooth chain ring. We've got a fluted seat post. And then the brand new Redline Castan Flight Tech seat. You can get that at Planet BMX for about a hundred bucks. Dicomp MX V brakes. And just a gorgeous bike. I really like this color blue. I had a hutch this color as well. And when I sold it, I was kind of like, man, that color was amazing. So you tell me, what do you think? Actually, let me know which Skyway you liked the best out of those four. I'm curious to hear. Which one do you like? Okay, I apologize. My dog seems to really enjoy the camera. The next one, we're gonna go old school. Since we just showed you a bunch of new bikes, let's treat you to the oldest bike that I have, a 1979 Eddie King Torker. The bottom bracket is stamped with an E indicating Eddie King. Eddie King was a very young pro rider for Torker back in the late 70s and early to mid 80s. These bikes were made in Fullerton, California, where I'm from. And this example right here is absolutely perfect. Not a dent, not a scratch. It doesn't have a cracked gusset like just about all of them do. It has a six bolt stem on it. This bike is gorgeous. Tongi forks, Yukai wheels, super maxi cranks. Just love this bike. The fluted seat post, the old school die comp brakes. Comp 3 tires, that bike's absolutely money. Love that bike, tell me what you think of that one. Do you like that one, Lola? I don't think she cares. All right, next one up, one of my pride and joys. This is a 1983 PK Ripper in baby blue and gold, just like the one I rode and raced in high school. It's got the Amy Grips, the Jumbo Flight Donuts, MX brake levers, the signed limited edition Mike Buff number plate, gold wheels, blue tires, just a gorgeous bike. Gold headset, stem, the Mike Buff signature, 
Cashamax seat. Oh, this bike is so good. Gold crank set. Gold pedals. I just love this bike. The loop tail is just iconic for these old PK Rippers. They are great bikes. They're super lightweight, but they're known to crack. And in high school, I did break mine, and then I sold it before I joined the military. But about eight years ago when I started doing Rad BMX builds, I always wanted another one. And probably five years ago, I found this bike. And now I built it up, and it's part of my collection. Uh, this one will not be for sale. This, If I sold every single bike in this collection, I would still have this one because this is the last one to go or I'll just keep it forever. Okay, I've had many red lines over the years. And then when I didn't have any, everyone kept asking me if I had any. So I went out and got another one and did a full custom build on it. And honestly, folks, this one might be one of my favorites. It's got the really rare, and then I found them pretty much in brand new condition, red line grips. I, it's got red line bars, red line stem, red line frame and forks. Redline cranks, which we'll talk about in a minute. And this bike is just simply perfection. Brand new powder coat, brand new decals, because originally it was kind of a mess. So I had to fix it up. Fully restored, perfect condition. The old school single pinch, redline cranks, redline chain ring, pedals. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Redline seat in perfect condition. I love this bike. It came out great. It's just such a good color combination. It does have the red line stem. You can see it in there. The bars are stamped somewhere, probably under that Velcro or around that area. But yeah, really awesome bike. Very happy with it. Tell me what you think about the red line. Those are my favorite red line decals ever, hands down. The last bike I had them on was an 85 and it was chrome. I really like the white. Honestly, my dog just won't move. So I'm, I'm sorry, she's just gonna be in the videos. Yeah, you. Okay, next up, 1991 GT Performer for all you freestyle fanboys. The most overrated freestyle bike and bike collectors is a GT Performer, but hey, I couldn't be outdone. I had to have one. I've had so many, honestly. I'm just, I'm kind of over them, but I came across this and decided to put one back in the collection. I just sold my 87 Chrome Eddie Fiola signed GT Performer and decided to jump on the bandwagon and do the neon pink and I really liked the way it came out. I did something a little bit different though. I used a lot of silver parts instead of white. Everyone else is using white fork standers, white headsets, white brakes, white mallet stem. I don't wanna be like everybody else. I thought it'd be different. Use some four piece bars, a lot of silver accents instead of white. I mean, there's definitely a lot of white on there, but this bike came out really well. I am very happy with it. It is a 91, so I had to have custom decals made for this bike. So shout out to Perfect Decals, Michael Fockler for the decals. Took you a while to get them to me, but well worth it. And then Mr. Dice Guy for these awesome neon pink GT valve stem caps. Came out great. Cool. I'm a big race bike guy, so I really don't care about the freestyle bikes, uh, but they're good for content. You guys like them. Lola doesn't care about them either. She just wants some more steak. So there it is, the neon pink GT Performer. Probably gonna sell this. Okay, we'll just stay on topic with the freestyle bikes and move right into a Haro Team Master Bash Guard bike. This is one of only 150 made in chrome. They made 150 in red and 150 in black. This is a 2019. This is not an 80s Haro Team Master but still super rad. It actually didn't come with any of this pink and blue for parts, it was just the decal. I put all the pink and blue and white on it. Just wanted kind of my colors incorporated into this bike. You know, I played with the idea of selling this bike a million times. I'm not a Haro fanboy, but God, just the balance of colors on this bike is so good. It's hard to hate on it, it really is. It's, it's a heavy bike, it looks gorgeous, um, it gets, a lot of attention when you take it out and you know it is what it is you tell me do you like this bike i really liked it when i got it but i mean have had it like three years now probably it's one of the oldest bikes in my collection by meaning i've held on to it the longest so what should i do with it keep it or sell it you tell me 
All right, we're getting there. I hope you like these bikes so far because this is also a very rare bike. A 2011 PK Ripper, only 200, maybe 250 made. I really don't remember. But this bike means a little something to me because back in 2011, I went into a bike shop in Upland, California, and they had one on the bike rack. I didn't own Rad BMX builds at the time, and I saw this bike and it reminded me of the high school bike I had, and I really wanted it. But I just didn't have the money to buy it back then. I was in the military and I wasn't looking to spend that kind of money on a BMX bike. So I missed out. Well, one came up on eBay, new in box. I bought it, it was really rad. And then someone offered me money that I couldn't pass up for it. And Rad BMX Builds was just starting out. So I sold it. And then I realized how rare these are and thought, man, I really messed up by doing that. And came across this one and I had to have it, so I bought it, and here it is. My second 2011 PK Ripper loop tail in baby blue and gold. So it has the very rare SE Racing Cash and Max seat with Cook Brothers seat post and just all SE parts all the way through this bike. It is absolutely gorgeous, it's a stunner. Love this bike. It's the rider version of the 83. This one, like I said earlier, I just don't want to get on it and thrash around, but this one, I love riding this bike. And who remembers these? These old school foam grips. Honestly, they're the worst grips ever, but I had a pair in the 80s, because they're cheap, and it just, every time I put my hand on it and I squeeze that foam grip, it gets all those memories coming back, and that's what this is really about. And the motto of the company is building memories, so when things like that trigger an emotion or a memory, they just become an integral part of that build. And this one is on the 2011 PK Ripper. All right, man, do I have a treat for you. This bike is incredibly special because it's a one of one. I don't know if you ever heard of a little company called GT, but I'm about to lay some education down on you that you probably didn't know. GT, Gary Turner, sold his company in the late 80s. That company was founded in 1972. And then in 2022, the big box company GT reached out to Gary Turner and his son Craig Turner and said, would you be interested in building a 50th anniversary bike? And they said yes, and did a very limited run of 50, anniversary, 50 year anniversary bikes. This is the 20 inch old school, meaning it's got the threaded forks, it's got side pull brakes, and this was their prototype, used for promotion, photographs. And when Craig called me and said, hey, Sean, I got this prototype bike, looking to get rid of it. Are you interested? I said, absolutely. So it came with the uh, handlebars, it came with the frame, and came with the forks. So all the parts and pieces you see on it, uh, I, I got and I put on the bike. So quick rundown, GT Super Lace Hubs. I had these custom build. These are Rhino Light Chrome wheels with black nipples on it. The GT LP tires, the Tongi headset. And then my good friend George over at Pro Neck gave me a, well, he didn't give it to me. I bought the polished stem. I bought the Pro Neck polished seat clamp and the Pro Neck polished power disc. This dog is literally licking my camera while I'm trying to film. You're a pain in the butt. And then I went ahead and I bought all the GT parts that I could literally find that would look good on this bike. Pad set, uh, seat, pads came from flight, donuts came from flight, got some GT grips. I mean, got this on eBay, the 09 plate from a good, really good guy, bought plenty of plates from uh, out of Rhode Island. So you can find these 09 plates already decaled up on eBay. Tech 77 lever. Just a gorgeous bike. I don't want to go over every single part because I filmed this bike before, but I just really wanted to highlight how special this bike is. And a big shout out to you, Craig. Thank you for reaching out and giving me an opportunity to build and have this bike in the collection. It's not going anywhere. Really happy to have this bike and it's just sick. Uh, I didn't think the black would just look that mean, but Man, it looks good. Okay, time to bring out the big guns. This is one of the brand new 24 inch Dyno Pro Comps. You probably don't recognize it because it looks nothing like this when you buy it. They come in white now. 
the model before it came in a really ugly dark catch-up red and if you know me I've built three of these bikes now one was all black and I sold that to my really good friend Beerda and then a white one went off to California that I redid and then I did this custom thermonuclear yellow and pink 24 inch recently and I, I need to give a shout out to Ernie at Ernie's 80s bike shop for the powder coat this is thermonuclear yellow with hand applied black splatter these decals were new old stock graffiti decals that I found on eBay and they were kind of the inspiration for the bike it's got the fluted seat post the double seat post clamp the dyno seat the dyno brake guard the 24 inch skyways Kenda tires GT crank set, GT platform pedals. We come up front, we got the front brakes, this really rad yellow and pink uh, brake cable end cap and matching ginormous oversized valve stem cap from my good buddy, Wes, Mr. Dice Guy. Fork standers, the works. This bike, what do you think of it? You like it? All right, good. This bike literally has everything. I love this bike. I decided to just go with Tech 77 levers, Amy grips, neon yellow donuts, and neon pink pads from Flight. So big shout out to Flight. It really brings out that bike. It's absolutely sick. I don't want to dwell on it too much because I just did a video on this down downtown San Antonio. Rode it around the Alamo. Go check that video out if you want. It's pretty cool. You can see the river walk. But this bike out in the sun, absolutely crazy. What a rider. What a great bike. Lola agrees. All right, this next bike up's pretty special. First, got to give a big shout out to Monza BMX for collaborating with me so I can build this tribute rad movie bike. There's a difference between a tribute and a replica, and I'm going to show you what that is. A tribute is just paying respect to a certain product. It doesn't have to match. It doesn't have to have the exact pieces. Doesn't have to have be anything, it's just kind of looking like to honor that other thing. And that's what this bike is. Nice polished wheels, blue tires, added a front brake, the 33 number plate, some Amy grips, and then Flight killed it with the new donuts and rad pad set. Really cool. Found a random blue seat that matched really well. MX clamp for the seat post. And then I went ahead and I did a pro neck, power disc, three piece cranks, platform pedals, and threw some pegs on the back. So this does have V brakes, got the old Crew Jones bandana on there. So you can see it looks very similar to the Rad bike. And I'm gonna actually show you a replica in a moment. This is a tribute bike, but man, it is such a rider, such an attention getter. What a great bike, what a great opportunity. Thank you, Monza. What a rad bike. What a great company. If you want a Monza bike like this in 24, 26, get over to MonzaBMX.com. Get yourself a bike. Customization is endless. Just go check them out. Thanks again. This is a really rad bike. Next one up is something very special and very rad. Okay, now this is a replica. This is the same year, make, model, and component bike as you'll find Crew Jones riding for the majority of the movie, Rad. This is a 1985 Mongoose Californian made to look just like the bike he rode in the movie. However, I need to be straight up and honest with you, there are a few differences in this bike than there are in the original. This is not the correct seat. However, I do have the correct seat up here. It's just kind of ugly. So I do have it. And then these are pro class wheels, but in the movie he had black anodized ones, which are really hard to find. So I went with the other pro class wheels that look really awesome on this. Now, it does have the blue mongoose grips. It does have the pro class brakes. It does have the clear or whatever you want to call these uh, brake cables, the 33 plate, the rad pad set, blue tires. It's got the SR stem. Sorry to swing the camera around like that. SR stem. It's got SR pedals, SR cranks, SR chain ring. Oh my gosh, the blue power disc, the OG for this 85 Mongoose California MX 
seat post clamp, the Pro Class brakes, the Skyway pegs, it just goes on and on. This bike is absolutely gorgeous. And everyone keeps asking me if I'll sell it. I gotta be real honest with you. I had no intention to sell this. And then someone reached out to me that wants the bike. And I'm gonna give it to him. And you're gonna find out why. What changed my mind? Why would I do that? I don't need to sell this bike. And it's such an iconic bike. You can't go buy this bike. You can't probably even go build one this nice. But I'm gonna give it to somebody and you're gonna see why. I have um, something, I'm not, I don't wanna give away too much. In the next two weeks, I'm gonna do something pretty big and you're gonna find out. If you subscribe or, or you even follow the Instagram because I'm gonna talk about it there too, you're gonna to see what I'm talking about and you're just gonna lose your mind just like I did. It's gonna be big. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about, let's talk about a bike I don't have right here with me. We have a 24 inch Haro Radical Rick bike. That's right. Damien Fulton, the artist of Radical Rick reached out to me and said, Sean, I want you to build a Radical Rick bike. We collaborated with Haro. They gave me the 24 inch Haro Radical Rick bike. I completely redid the entire bike. I debuted it in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the BMX Hall of Fame. It is now on display at the Radical Rick booth inside the museum showroom at the BMX Hall of Fame in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A few of you have seen it. A few of you have seen it in person. If you haven't, check it out. Check it out on Instagram. Check it out on my YouTube. Check it out in person and let me know what you think. Damien signed it, loved the bike. It goes great with the booth. And it will be back here at some point, but I prefer it to be on display there as long as they'll have it. So thank you to BMX Hall of Fame for having that bike there. Going on almost a year, I think, at this point. So really rad, very thankful for that. Okay, I do have another bike to show you. I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes review of a bike. And so let me pull it out and you're gonna see it right now. Okay, about two years ago, I bought a 26 inch GT Pro Performer, and it was that purple color, and it was a rad bike. The parts that come on these bikes were phenomenal. I just didn't love the purple. So I stripped the bike down completely and powder coated it yellow, put a bunch of silver parts on it, and basically turned it into a replica 26 inch GT World Tour in yellow. And I debuted it to Eddie Fiola, we had a sit down, we had a whole interview with him. He rode the bike, he signed the bike, he loved it. And we even talked about kind of mass producing a limited number of those that we could sell, but the profit margins really just aren't there to do that. So we didn't want to buy like 10 of them, build them all out and do a collaboration and sell them. It just didn't make a lot of sense financially. So that didn't happen and I ended up selling that bike. That's one of those bikes I regret selling. So to the person that bought that bike, that was probably the raddest 26 inch GT World Tour bikes ever built. And I missed that bike. So what did I do? I bought the brand new 26 inch GT Pro Performer, but this one's not purple. It comes in probably the second ugliest paint job, in my opinion, that GT ever did. But don't worry, it's getting powder coated. Decals are gonna be here tomorrow. This is the next build. I'm gonna show you what it looks like out of the box if you were to buy one of these. And then in the next video, or a video after that, you're gonna see me assemble the brand new version of this bike. Wow, it's kind of a lot to get out there. Okay, without further ado, let me show you this ugly, disgusting 26 inch GT Pro Performer. Ironically, look at all the colors in my logo. Move, dog. And then, then this. What were they thinking? I know these are a lot of the 80s colors they used, but they didn't need to use them all on one bike. I think it looks disgusting. I hate it. So I'm gonna do away with it completely and do a full rebuild on this bike. Now my good friends, Bernie and Kevin at Cruising in the 808 is doing something extremely similar. And a huge shout out to them. Check them out on YouTube but they are going in a different direction, just similar. And I had to jump on the bandwagon and do another one of these because this bike came on sale for an amazing price and I just wanted to get back the bike that I sold. Okay, this thing is pretty much stock the way you'd get it out of the box. The colors are very vibrant and beautiful. Like I love them, I just don't love them all together. I think it's pretty terrible. But I talked about the parts and components. 
GT Super Lace Hubs. GT platform pedals, cranks, and disc look really nice. I don't know if you're into these GT padded seats. I really don't care about them, but I have a GT seat coming for it. Then it comes with a GT mallet stem and GT LP 26 inch gum wall tires. So it's got some cool parts and components. It's actually a really good canvas to build a really rad custom bike off of. And that's really what my goal is. I, I just, I will not even ride that outside. It's just me, I don't know. Some of you love it. When I posted it on my Instagram, some of you hated it, some of you loved it. You said, just put white tires on it, it looks great. That's kind of putting lipstick on a pig. I just don't wanna do that. I'm gonna do a full custom, blow it apart, redo everything and put it back together. If you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. That's coming very soon. Okay, we launched some new merch. Get over to the website, radbmxbuilds.com. Get yourself a BMX expert shirt, okayish at BMX shirt, Rad BMX Builds shirts, hats, hoodies, stickers. We're also giving away this neon sign. We did a collaboration with Lumen dot x neon to give this away to one of you all you got to do is go follow them on instagram and give me a subscribe on instagram that's it i'll pick one of you and then you will get that shipped to you free of charge to have in your man cave okay that's the entire collection if you saw any bikes you like they're probably going to be for sale very soon on the website so make sure you're over there checking that out I don't know how fast I'm gonna get all the photographs and how fast I upload it. It's just me doing that, so when I get around to it, when I say soon, it means soon-ish. All right, thanks again for watching, and as always, stay rad.